The purpose of this training video is to demonstrate the proper removal and installation procedures of the Axis G seal and mating ring on the accessory gearbox of the CT7-8 engine. Both of these procedures are detailed in the CT7-8 Maintenance Manual GEK 105159. Proper maintenance of the accessory gearbox is essential to avoid oil leaks and other engine problems. The accessory drive gearbox assembly transmits torque from the engine starter during starting and drives engine accessories that mount on gearbox pads. Axis G drives the particle separator blower. The following parts and tools will be needed to properly remove the Axis G hardware. Number one, Axis G seal puller, part number 21C7239G01. Number two, Axis G mating ring puller, part number 21C7702G01. Alternately, the mating ring puller, part number LMT-747, can be used. Remove the Axis G seal, part number 5044T47P05 or 4188T67P01 as follows. A. Remove the retaining ring, part number J204P0143. B. Position the Axis G seal puller, part number 21C7239G01 over the axis G seal so that the teeth of the puller begin to engage the anti-rotation lugs on the seal. C. Rotate the puller body so that the teeth are applying pressure to the seal lugs. D. Use the sliding hammer while you continue to rotate the puller body. E. Hold the seal to prevent it from dropping after removal. F. Remove and discard the packing, part number J221P952, from the Axis G bore. Using Axis G mating ring puller, part number 21C7702G01 or LMT-747, remove the Axis G seal mating ring. Remove and discard the packing, part number J222P017, from the Axis G seal mating ring. This completes the removal of the Axis G hardware. The following parts and tools will be needed to properly install the Axis G hardware. Number 1. Axis G mating ring, part number 4045. T77P02. Number 2. Preform packing, part number J222P017. Number 3. Preformed packing, part number J221P952. Number 4. Axis G seal, part number 5044T47P05 or 4188 T67P01. Number 5. Retaining ring. Part number J204P0143. Number 6. Axis G seal and mating ring guide. Part number LMT-748. Number 7. Lint-free towel. Number 8. Cotton gloves. And finally, number 9. Blue dicom marker. Using a lint-free towel, clean the Axis G cavity. Remove any residual oil and deposits. Lubricate the new packing, part number J222P017. Wear cotton gloves and install the packing into the groove in the seal mating ring. Note position of slots in spur gear shaft relative to inner bore of rear AGB housing. Using blue dicom marker, mark location of slots on inner bore of the rear housing. Caution! 
Failure to engage mating ring tangs with slots in spur gear shaft will result in misassembly and potential damage to the carbon seal. Using the DICA mark as a guide, align the tangs on the mating ring with the mating slots in the spur gear shaft. Using the guide assembly, LMT-748, push the mating ring forward onto the spur gear shaft. The spur gear shaft must protrude about 3 32nds inch, 2.4 millimeters, after the mating ring is seated. Caution! Failure to engage mating ring tangs with slots in spur gear shaft will result in misassembly and potential damage to the carbon seal. Caution! If mating ring is dropped or scratched, replace it. Install the new packing, part number J221P952, into the rear housing bore. Carefully install the Axis G seal, part number 5044T47P05, or 4188T67P01, into the bore and align the tabs on the seal with the slots in the gearbox. Finally, install the retaining ring, part number J204P0143, into the housing at Axis G. This completes the installation of the Axis G hardware. In summary, proper maintenance of the accessory gearbox can avoid engine problems such as oil leaks. Remember to follow the recommended procedures and use the proper installation and removal tools. Refer to the CT7-8 Maintenance Manual, GEK105159, or call GE Product Support for additional details on these procedures.